used a Ben 7 fold for my first two shotgun reviews and I figured why not? Let's use it again. I love a Ben 7 fold. And this time we're covering the Bulldog Shotgun. It's a semi-automatic shotgun and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't really like semi-autos or fully autos, uh, either shotguns or snipers because I think they're tough to balance and I think they're way too easy to use. I probably got as many one-hit kills with this as I have with the FP6 and the TAC-12. This thing still gets a lot of one-hit kills and uh, I, don't, I don't think a semi-auto or full auto should be able to do that. Uh, simply because I know if you're five feet away and you shoot somebody with a semi-auto, it's still going to kill them. But for the purposes of balancing a video game, I'm not sure a one-hit kill on a semi-auto weapon is, is really fair. Uh, especially with this shotgun, is I don't think there's a, a cap, uh, fire caps. You can just fire as fast as your little heart desires. Or as fast as your little finger can go. And I also love how this thing reloads. It's cool and it's fast. You don't even really need sleight of hand even though I do run it. Now, remember in my reviews, it really has nothing to do with data, it has nothing to do with stats, it's just about feel and fun factor. This shotgun is definitely fun to use. I normally wouldn't put out a shotgun review so quickly, but I had a few hours to play this weekend, so I figured I'd throw on the Bulldog, and this thing was fun to use, and I guarantee it made people mad. Now, I normally don't like to play just to make people mad, but uh, that was definitely a result of me using this shotgun, even though I got my... I got owned right here, I don't know how, but as you can see, sometimes I ADS and sometimes I hit fire. I haven't really noticed the difference. It's definitely easier to just hit fire and go to town on the trigger, but once, if I see like somebody right in front of me, then there's really nobody else around, I'll try an ADS. Maybe that gets more one-hit kills, I don't know. But anyway, if I had to rate the shotgun compared to the other two that I've used so far, I would still probably put this third, simply because I just, there's something about a pump-action shotgun, there's something about you know, running after a camper and jumping in the air and shooting them as this camper takes an RPG to the face. <laughs> There's just something about running, jumping, shooting, pumping, and taking off running again. All in one smooth motion. This is more uh, spastic, I guess you could say. This is more like ADD. I'm all over the place. I'm spraying like crazy. Don't really need accuracy. Win some gunfights I probably shouldn't win and uh, definitely make people angry. There was uh, there was some rage at me while I was using this thing, and I only used it for a handful of games, but it, it gave me enough of a feel to know how the shotgun was going to perform. Now, again, I, I don't really feel like semi-autos and full autos can be balanced. Uh, I don't really think the shotgun is balanced well, not because of it's like really effective, because it's, it's just really easy to use. Like, if you face relatively poor opponents, kind of like I'm facing, it's it's way too easy to do well if you just have like common knowledge of how to play with a shotgun and you can see this one's on sovereign again i hate this map but apparently it's fun to, to use shotguns on because i've had some success lately with shotguns and if you want to have some fun with a shotgun definitely use the bulldog it's easy to use the learning curve is really short you pretty much just hit fire and, and let your trigger finger fly but anyway guys, let me know if you've used this shotgun and where you would rate it among the other shotguns and I'll definitely try and, and uh, get the other shotgun review up, the revolver shotgun. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.